So you have Willis Raburu and MC Gogo. Okay. Gun to your head, who would you remove? What? Yeah. Who's your worst guest on the SMS podcast? <laughs> what would I check? <laughs> who do you think is undateable? Oh, undateable. Yeah, like even if they begged you to, you would check, yeah. That's a no Who's it? Claudine is about award-winning TV presenter, and I'm on SMS. Wow, you're so gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, Samburu jeans. Yeah. Uh, if you have brothers, yeah. You have to talk to one of us. Samburu, no, so, I'm, I'm newly single, friends. Really? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Are you already thinking of someone? Are you matchmaking in your head as we speak? There's a lot going on in my mind. I'd rather not say. <laughs> Such as <laughs> <laughs> you so said so that I'm <laughs> Anyways, hi friends, my name is Stephanie Nganga, I'm a digital content creator and event host and especially the host of the SNS. Welcome Claudia to Hot Seat. How are you feeling? Uh, Hot. Um, <laughs> let me tell you, first of all, <laughs> nani atakunye is if it were I'm just saying, I'm like, I'd rather answer all your questions. You'd rather answer? Yeah, than take this stuff. As in, let, yeah. let the record show that she said she'd rather answer. So we'll remember what she said now. And then we'll recap at the end. Okay. Yeah. So for those of you who are just joining us, welcome to the hot seat. We have, it is two simple rules. Mm. Claudia and I have prepared for each other a few questions that neither of us have seen, ranging from our personal to our career, and the options are too big. You can either answer the question truthfully, or you can spin the wheel, and whatever you land on, that's what you're going to have for the shot. Now, our shots are nasty concoctions. So let me give Claudia a run through. Shot number one is hot sauce. How are you with hot stuff? Um, on a scale of one to ten. I have hot sauce. So. Hey. Mm, crazy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a medical set. It I mean, we invest in that. Mm -hmm. Shot number two is fish sauce or fish oil. I like fish. You like fish? It's nice. nasty, friend. So disgusting. It's nasty. Yeah. Shot number three is vinegar. Just white vinegar. That's not so bad. Maybe yeah, I yeah. say that because I've sat on this chair so many times. Yeah. This is the shot I'm just like, gladly, I'll take it. Now, shot number four is eggless mayonnaise. How do you like your mayo? This is something I can have. You can have? Generally, okay. Can have, yes. Now, shot number five is a solid egg yolk. Solid, literally. We separated the egg yolk from the egg white. This is poached. Oh, this is just okay, it's raw. It's raw. It's raw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then our last shot That's is, of course, the the one you rather just you know call your ancestors uh, before you take it. So it's a mixture of egg white, hot sauce, a vinegar, and fish oil and some Who mayo. Who takes this thing? She shall be the one to take it. Okay, do we play rock, paper, scissors? We see, so the loser is on who starts. Okay? I'm very competitive, <laughs> so... No, I believe get, you. Let's I let's believe you. Do you do it. rock, paper, scissors? Shoot, I'm a rock, paper. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so, okay. so three rounds. Are we good? Three rounds. Oh, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> we continue. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh, one. I the last one. The, this is the tiebreaker. Okay. Is it? Yeah. We have one more round. So we are one, one. Are we good? Let's start. I don't know why I'm even tensing. At first, I was so I confident. And now the confidence has gone. But the last one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Lord. Loser. Loser I thought I'm competitive too. <laughs> you know, in my mind, I was doing the calculations. Like, eh, yeah, like, will she do? Will she do scissors? She do rock? She do paper? Okay, so since okay. I'm the loser, you get to ask me the first question. There we go. And start light. Babe. Like it. Start Actually, light. I'm. I promise you. Yeah. It's very light. Okay. Proceed to ask okay. me the most intrusive question. <laughs> Why did you break up with your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Give no. the exact reason. <laughs> To no, I feel like I can say this. Um, the exact babe. yeah, the exact <laughs> I'm stressing <laughs> on the exact reason. Next question Um, the reason I broke up with my boyfriend is we truly were growing apart. That really was the reason. I think this was my second time being in a in a long roho. This is the second time I was being in a long distance relationship. The first time I think I was just very you do long distance. <laughs> You're strong. <laughs> You're very strong. <laughs> uh -huh. 
So this was the second time. The first time I think I was probably about 18, 19 and could have done anything for that gremlin. Um, I genuinely thought, babe, I was going to like transfer my credits and go to like Pasadena University. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Unenda Wapi, I'm following you. Yeah. And then the second time now, um, I think it was just one of those ones where you're growing apart. And then also it's just like life happens. It truly usually feels like the moment he left, I lived like a million lifetimes. In between that period so let's say like he left in august mm -hmm. by december like how my life had gone between then and now december it was just like it had bite itself each other so yeah that is really the real reason he's a sweetheart a great man but yeah it was not working okay so <sighs> claudia what is your relationship status you know when you're usually like signing a document or ticking off something do you tick off at single in a just single or married which one are you? Are you engaged, betrothed? Which one is it? I'm very single. You're very like there's extremely nobody that would single. catch feelings if you say that's your camera friend. I'm extremely <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm really single. I do not think I'm ready mm -hmm. to be in a relationship. When like, is the last time you're in a relationship? A couple of months ago. Are you a lover girl? Well, I'm no, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a lover girl. Yeah. God, I'm about to spill. Mm -hmm. I'm very expressive. Okay. Um, you know, I, I'd spoil. I, I'd get you gifts. I'd treat mm. you nicely. Mm. I actually just have a thing for buying people cake. So that's your <laughs> cake. Cake. <laughs> Friend, I'm single. <laughs> I have a thing for buying people cake. Like yeah. even with your face on it and mm. stuff. As in, it's just a me thing. Yeah. But um, I would not say I'm a lover girl. Yeah. For me, I'd mm -hmm. say I attach and detach like this. Wow, so you're so you're, you're practically. I never bad. really stuck. I, I never really get um stuck somewhere if mm. if later I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Oh, la, the see. next day, the story is <laughs> for me. The next I'm the day exact opposite. Me, really, I'm such a lover girl deep in the bundles of the like the Lulu. Jolly. <laughs> Jolly, it gets better with time. It gets better with time. Trust. Okay, so let's talk about something. Of Wait, course, it was only one question. No. Hey, yeah, no, this is this is random journalist. As journalists, we, we build up. Sis, that's you not know fair. This. That's not fair. It's the question was not one if question, you are single. And then I asked you. The question was not if you are single. That was the question. Mm -hmm. Once you once mm -hmm. you ask, you know and you're expecting me to this answer. This is my show. <laughs> Okay. okay so now you have been alleged to be in uh, alleged allegedly in capital letters to be in a relationship with Ndovuniko. <laughs> she said this. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry Martin. So who would you date between the two? A gun to your head and why? Kerry Martin. Why? He is a lovely human being. Mm -hmm. Kerry is so sweet. Mm -hmm. Kerry is a nice person. Hey Kerry if you're watching this. No, I, I, I will generally <laughs> say this because yes. Kerry is a really, really good friend. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not saying that Chris is not a good friend. Yeah. Chris is an amazing person. Mm. But I'd say Kerry because I I don't know. He's too sweet. Yeah. He's, he's a real nice person. Yeah. I, I I can't say much about him. He, he had just an amazing personality. Yeah. He's very supportive as a friend. Mm. Yeah. But I, I like how it was such a PR answer for her to stay to the positives. Because that's what we're taught. You lead with the good, then the bad, then now you go back to the good. So why not Chris? Why not Chris? Yeah. I mean, what? I can't even answer that. Because Chris is also an equally good human person. But that's He's not a good the human question. Being. He's an that's not the person. question. Why not Chris? Mm. I just say in this case, I'd rather choose Gary Martin. It's not Ati, why not Chris? Chris is an amazing person. Mm. Himself, he's a, a great person. Yeah. But I just go with Gary Martin. So why do you think these these things come up allegedly? Why do you think? Is it because you guys say in public you're more, you know, like you cozy up to each other? Like I wonder where this all, like what's, what is the root of these allegations? We have great chemistry. That's it. Uh, <laughs> not that to wink, not that to wink, Steph. Six just have water. Drink. First of all, you've asked me like what? Three questions. No, Hold that up. was one uh, question. Kuna. <laughs> that's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> if that's not fair. Mm -hmm. Great chemistry. It's my turn. All right, ask. Uh, I like how we've both not touched these shots. Can we? Do we make a pact? 
to do what to that no, touch. nobody touches these shots for I, the I first pray. time in hot seat history okay nobody Damn. touches a shot okay. okay and also forfeit if someone touches a shot hey i was gonna say something so and i'm just like yeah if because if i feel i'm gonna say you take all of them but you won't go Hey, you'll die. <laughs> guy, guy, you'll die. Guy, guy, you'll die. Anyway, I actually, my stomach is very empty, so... Mm. Okay. By the way, wait. Where? Untaka, do you mean... Guy, where? Aya, question. Um, fire one person from your SNS crew. Wow! Now. Wow. Fire one person from my SNS. Actually, we have a very small team. It's Nyambura, my creative assistant. Mm. And then we have Wanini. Who's like, should I say head of production? Mm-hmm. Then we have Kiguta, and today we have this lovely gentleman. I feel like I'll just. Guy! <laughs> you said it's a rap. Guy! Only because, only because I just met him today. He'll cut the camera. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> he's like, cut the camera. Yeah, he'll cut the camera and be like, oh my god, oh sorry, we lost footage. Oh, I, I know where recording. you live. I know where you live. Oh. Um, so yeah, I think, oh. granted, I would just have him. Go. Are you are you comfortable with that answer? Do you like that answer? Yeah, like hey. It's a good answer. You're okay with being fired. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you know better than the devils I know than so the I angels know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that that wasn't so bad. Generally, yeah, it wasn't bad. Ooh. Yeah. You see, you guys. Oh, you see love, what? You see how you're going gremlins. deep with yeah. your questions? Yeah. Aha, just wait. You said you're gonna catch me. Okay. Mm, so I'm let's coming. talk about um. Your nominations. How many nominations do you have currently? Five. Walk us through them. Uh, one is Africa Entertainment Arts Awards. I have that's one award mm-hmm. show, and I have two nominations. Mm-hmm. One for brand ac- excellence, another one for um, media personality. Mm-hmm. Then I have the Consumer Choice Awards. One for inspiring female influencer. Yeah. And the other one for most professional female corporate MC. Yeah. And then the last one is uh, ladies in media. Yeah. And um, the question there. Oh, wait, not the question. Oops. I'm thinking about what I'm going to ask <laughs> you. I'm really thinking about it. Yeah. So the nomination is for African female TV show host mm-hmm. entertainment. Entertainment TV show host of the year. Yeah. Manzel, I don't know. I'm losing the. You're, you're losing track. Yeah, because there, like there so are many. Lot, yeah. lot, in one month. Yeah. Which is, I'm grateful to God. Yeah, yeah. Which, which should really just speak to the talent and. You know, just like the the aura you have even in your space. Thank but you. even before we get to my question, because here we love content. Sis, relax. We're panicky. This is not even something that you should take a shot on. Okay. But I would like for people cool. who are just interacting with you today, you give us the backstory of where this all started. Oh, um, it started from SPM Buzz. Mm-hmm. Bojita was the first person who gave me a chance. Okay. And he, I actually just went to him. I was actually with Mulamo. I was from a shoot somewhere up with Pika Road. Yeah. And Mulamo is like, I, I told Mulamo, I'm interested. I saw Mr. started this thing. I'm interested yeah. in being one of the hosts. Yeah. So Mulamo says, okay, let me introduce. He's an amazing guy, by the way. Mm. Let me introduce you to Butita. And then he did the intro. Mm-hmm. Butita told me, all right, next week, Thursday, come, we're recording. Yeah. And that's how I did one year at SPM. Mm-hmm. And then a friend of mine, before actually, before actually, wait. The story starts way before SPM. Yeah. There's a friend of mine who works at CGT in Africa. For mm-hmm. me, I think networking is such a big thing. Yeah. He's called Nick Mudimba. So mm-hmm. he's one of the... That time he was at Switch TV. Yeah. Me and I see that see. Switch TV is a walking distance. Yeah. So I go to Switch TV and I ask to meet the boss, the head of presenters or whatever. Mm. And they give me Nick Mudimba. They're like, okay, just talk to this guy. Yeah. That time I was... I don't think I was even 18. Yeah. I just finished high school. I hadn't gotten my ID or nothing. nothing. I didn't even start. I hadn't even started Campo at that point. Yeah. So I tell Nick and I'm like, oh, hi, Nick. Um, I'm interested in um, being one of your hosts. I could come in as a volunteer. Yeah. I just want to see how you guys How it start. works. You yeah. know, yeah. I'm not 18 at this point. I yeah. hadn't turned 18. You're a minor. Point. I'm a minor. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so what I'd advise you is mm-hmm. just go um, um, try YouTube first. Mm-hmm. Uh, start school, yeah. be consistent on YouTube, mm-hmm. and then I, he just said he just said that um I, just things are going to work out, yeah. you know, but just start with YouTube first. And he mm-hmm. advised you know just go start with YouTube first. Yeah. So I talked to my mom. I tell her, hey mom, I was told I met this journalist who told mm-hmm. me um you need to start with YouTube. Yeah. So I went and I did um actually if you check my YouTube channel, I don't know if I deleted that video. Ah, uh, we yeah. are checking from we a couple from a couple of <laughs> years back. Yeah. I think what it's been what four years. Yeah. Guy okay, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I shot, and then um yeah took Kendalia Vizuri. Yeah. So I actually did the, just 
two episodes one mm -hmm. didn't get to air because mm -hmm. i i actually don't remember what happened but one didn't air mm -hmm. i think i was going to interview my aunt yeah but then it didn't work out so mm -hmm. i just posted one yeah and i was just doing a recap of what happened in the entertainment scene and mm -hmm. whatnot and then that's when i saw gutita yeah with SPM yeah with SPM bus. yeah and that's when i reached out to mula mua because mm. at that by that time by the way i was over 18. yeah let me just clarify that yeah, she was an adult i was an adult <laughs> yeah but i was even shooting the uh, youtube video mm. i was of age yeah so um i did that and i was so happy with myself because i was like yeah this is a step in the right direction mm -hmm. For me, I don't like to walk. I yeah. like to run. I'm very ambitious. So mm. whenever I see, whenever I see something, I'll yeah. go for it. You're on it, yeah. Yeah. So when I was um, at SPM, Nani again, Nick Moody, but this someone I met like a couple of years back, yeah. sends me um, an audition poster because mm. he used to be at KTN. Yeah. So he told me try out for this stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, let me try it out. So when people are doing one video. Mm. They're just saying, oh, please, Nini, tag, social, blah, 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 blah. They yeah. had their own requirements. Mm. So I did one, two, three videos. That's how badly you I wanted, wanted that it. job. I yeah. was like, this one's mine. Yeah. I went for the first audition. It was like over, I think over hundreds of people applied for that stuff. Wow. The end of your audition, we were, how many? I think eight. Yeah. Can you imagine eight? Eight. From a hundred like, narrowed down to eight. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like very few guys. The mm. ladies were, it's like, I think five girls and yeah. three. Yeah. Three guys. So even competition was even now stiffer because now you're more you know? babes than your guys. Yeah. And then you're doing this whole um, screen test. So mm. they cut people. And I'm telling you, for I think two months, yeah. every Thursday I was at Standard Group. Yeah. And we're just, they're just checking to see. And it, it, it came down to two guys and two ladies. Mm -hmm. The last time I was there, I didn't think I was going to get the job. You were like, yeah, Amanda. Yeah, because I knew, I, I genuinely knew in my head, mm. I fucked up that audition. Yeah. Amanda was like, oh, God. Yeah. Like, I didn't think I gave my best. Yeah. And I thought I could do better. Mm -hmm. So, because that's the time, that's the time we got to talk to the bosses. Yeah. The actual boss ahead of mm. TV. Mm. So, ah, I was like, okay, so, it's to Riote. Imeenda. too. Mm. I didn't know we were going to get called again. Yeah. And now when um I was called again, I was like, eh, uh -huh. this is my chance. God yeah. has given me a second chance to yeah. redeem myself. Yeah. And I did pretty well considering I got the job. Yeah. Did KTN for two years. Yeah. I used that platform to grow. Yeah. I'm telling you, I did so many events. Mm. I worked with so many brands. Let me tell you, whatever uh, whatever platform you get. Yeah maximize the hell out of it ah, yeah, yeah. i did that yeah and i'm at a size i don't feel like i i missed something i'm, mm. I'm happy that i got the chance to work with ktn because i got to move after two years yeah i had done three years in media i was like it's time i make that move yeah. and now i'm at um tv 47 mm. and i love love working there because of the people the crew mm. it's an amazing space yeah and i get to grow and thrive i get to execute what i'm thinking yeah you know i get mm. to put my um thoughts into reality yeah so yeah when i was there i really used that opportunity mm -hmm. and that's how people got to know me and i just built a whole network and for me i'd say i really focused on my brand like yeah. i focused on cloud and i support i didn't focus on the show mm. yes i i did my best um as a presenter i yeah. gave them my all i mm. did really well and i'm content with what i give yeah but then again, they tell you this. I'm sorry if this sounds like, I hope for, for my employers, you mm. don't see this as a bad thing. Yeah. But you need to, as much as you're growing the brand, yeah. you're growing the TV brand or your employer, yeah. you also need to, to grow your brand. Yeah, to uplift yourself at the same time. Don't just cling on to what they are giving you and think because one time they'll wake up and they'll get rid of you yeah you're replaceable you know, you, yeah you're very replaceable but when you build your own brand there can never be another claudia nice but there can For never sure. be another stephanie younger yeah <laughs> yeah and thank you so much because i think sometimes when it comes to when we see people online mm -hmm. um i think sometimes the problem with when you grow your journey online for the people who join presumably a bit later they don't have the full context which is why yeah. here i'm always like this is your platform for you to be able to tell us your story mm -hmm. so now oh, Jesus <laughs> let me just check <laughs> what can i drop and this all started even when it comes to your like your nominations yeah mm -hmm. so there's a blog post dated the 20th of october 2023 so standard media uh, named you spm buzz uh there was a miss Kiv 
Kivinji, mm-hmm. the Citizen TV's Aziza and Mpasha's Kalundu Musiumi, and of course yourself as the new TV girls taking over the screens. In your opinion, mm-hmm. who was the least deserving? Amongst you, Miss Kivinji, Aziza, and Kalondu Musiemi. If you had a gun to your head and you were told, to am tumoja. Because this is, of course, Is this time take the shot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the hot seat and we like to make things oh, a bit spicy. It's not fair. What's this? So we have to spin the wheel first and then we see what you land on. And hopefully, for the love of Claudia, you do not land on. Claudia, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I will give an answer. <laughs> And it can't be you. It's it's not me. Okay, so it's tell us me. who do you think was the least deserving when we come when it comes to the title of this TV girls taking over the screens, extraordinary women thriving in this field. If you had a gun to your head and you're gonna die, they say TV girls. Okay, I'll pick her because I'll get. Oh, the she's least. answering. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll pick her because I'll get the least uh, backlash because she's your her. friend. <laughs> because she's my manager. <laughs> Because she's my okay, manager. Okay, so I'd okay. say Miss Kithinji one mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because she's a lady and not a girl. Okay. So see when you know a dog. Miss Awa Sawa. Yeah. So mm. I'll say Miss Baby Girl. Hi. Don't kill me. She's she's, she's going she, to she'll approve this. She'll okay. approve this. She's yeah. a manager. Yeah. She's extremely good at what she does. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't doubt that. Yeah. But just because they say T V girls. You're just like Yeah. So yeah. they need to put her aqua level. Totally different. Yeah. She's been in the game for quite some time. She's yeah. She's extremely good at what she does. Yeah. So I don't think she's a TV girl. Yeah. I think she is, um, in the digital space, she is, she's taught a lot of guys, me yeah. included. Mm. Um, Because when I started off, I started off in the digital space. Yeah. And, um, and then you so I'd say, yeah, for her, okay. you're not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to cut pastures. you. <laughs> <laughs> you said you cannot no, no, trick no. me. I'm not going to give you that chance. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is my long end of the question, and you've answered it. So Ooh. next is you. Cha, 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 cha. <laughs> okay, let me see. <laughs> we love context here. We love context Ooh, here. What don't you like about Stephanie Chirono? Something you've never told her. Oh, bloody hell. What don't I like about my yeah, friend? Yeah, something that just pisses you off your leg. Yeah. Can you stop? Something I've And you've never, never told, told her. her. But deep what, down, what you thinking. know the way there's something... <laughs> Because me, there's something there's, about my best friend. There's something I know deep in my heart. Why would you say it? I'm like, oh, I, but I, if I she's think your... I'll hurt your feelings. Yeah. You know, sometimes you also try to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. As much as you're being a friend, you can't be also brutally honest. Because yeah. sometimes it cuts deep. Yeah. So what's that one thing? About I, the thing that comes to mind, I think there was a time we had like a little tiff or a disagreement. Because I think sometimes when it comes to social media, friendships especially they are romanticized and you don't see the ugly side um not that we have actually an ugly side we just had like mm. a little disagreement mm. okay. and now the thing that is in my mind i voiced it out during that disagreement okay just so say it. oh yeah, so we, i just we, say we, i can we, just we say it. it yeah um i think it but there's so much context that i don't think particularly i have the privilege of sharing mm. but i remember there was a time i felt like i was constantly just being called out on just shit and i'm just like can everybody just give me a break? Mm. You, do you know what I mean? So it was like one of those ones where I felt like I'm constantly being... And granted, for her, of course, there's like a lot of context, which if you're watching this, of course, you take it with a pinch of salt. But yeah, I think... It, and she already knows this, so it's not a surprise because that's the only thing that comes to mind. Mm. The beauty about our friendship is Atufichani, and she's a very blunt and brutally honest person. Like, she gonna, she's just going to... But now there was a time I was just like, okay, can, can we just take a chill pill? Like, it... As, as much as I don't want to act like he doesn't hurt my feelings, I'm just a girl. So, yeah. But, mm-hmm. but I'm very grateful for our friendship. And okay. I think it's great to have friends who, you know, they just, they tell you things that you don't particularly want to hear. Because I'm like, but you're my girl. Why? Why don't you want to try me? Okay. So, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I, I that one I was sweating. We are, we're not taking a shot. We're not taking, a, not shot. taking a shot. We're mm-hmm. not taking a shot. Okay. So now, as we as we continue to build up when it comes to your career, because I feel like I first met you at Antonio Souls podcast, and I remember when you said you, you you were speaking. You guys were you know just going back and forth, and I remember when you said your age. I said, Wait a bare minute. What were we doing at that age? And I think it's. It's important and necessary because I feel like sometimes within the space, people don't particularly accord each other flowers. Mm-hmm. And it's only done like it's like, okay, you've got an recommendation, receive your flowers. Mm-hmm. But even just from a, someone from the outside, mm-hmm. receive your flowers. And I think you're doing such, it's very inspiring even for me to watch 
you. Thank and you're you. younger than me, and sometimes oh I'm just God. like, nini, 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 nini. so it's very inspiring. You also so, do really well. What oh, do you thank mean? Thank you. You're thank you. Really but well. like when I think about myself at your age, I was just like, and then it's quite jokes. But you know, that's what I, I mean. I mean, that's, I, I genuinely think that's what people are supposed to be doing at 21. That's why I say it may mm. not work. Yeah, you I run. run. There needs to be put on a t-shirt. You know, yeah, eh. Because the flip side of things is always how, as young people, we're always constantly being told, but you're young, you have time. Mm. And then I see, when we see people you you like you, exactly, like we've got two still come back from Lux, it. Yeah, which is also valid within its own yeah. right. But then when we see people like you who are doing like insane things, I'm just like, yeah, if, please. Can you style up? So let's talk about your career, especially with the transition from KTN to TV47. Mm. Now, I know I, you probably have gotten this question asked a gazillion times, but I'm curious if there's any other... <laughs> I'm curious if there's any other reason as to why this transition happened. Because from the outside looking in, maybe it may have felt abrupt. Like, we, could, we didn't see it coming. It was just like, yeah, guys, I'm done. So, yeah, I'm just curious. I think just like every other media personality mm-hmm. um, or any other person in any other profession, once you stay somewhere for too long... It's you, two years mm-hmm. too long? Yes, it is. Okay. It is. Mm-hmm. If you're doing um, the same show with the same structure, mm. um, yes, you can have guests change here and there. Mm-hmm. But then again, um, there's a lot I still need to do. Okay. I need to be exposed to a lot of things. Mm. So if I feel like there's a chance for me to grow in a different direction or yeah. to try something new with a different crew, mm-hmm. and I'm seeing that this is definitely worth a shot, yeah. I will go for it. Yeah. So there's actually no other reason. Yeah. I love my colleagues. We talk today to my co-hosts. Yeah. Mm. Story. story. Yeah. <laughs> Some dumb things, but we're yeah. still talking. Mm. So it's just the growth aspect yeah. yeah i think especially in the space from the outside looking in we always see transitions coming from a place of as a man, you know like either summer oh yeah for yeah sure. there's always like that middle talk so mm-hmm. then now like to have you clarify that it brings a, like a lot of clarity yeah. i just like okay she really just needed to grow and transition. i i did i yeah. did because you know before i i decided to move i i kept telling my co-host actually and my producer i told them mm. like guys by the end of January, I'll not be here. Yeah. Like, I knew. I didn't know where I was moving to next. Yeah. But in my head, I knew. Mm. By the end of January, yeah. I would be around. Okay. Like, nearly conditions are for condition. I was ready. I had already You were ready exited. for the transition. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was ready for the transition. But I still gave them one hell of a show. Yeah. And I that left. you did. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the next question will come, but it's your turn. Okay. Monday is so tired of me. She's like... Yeah, oh I'm like, you know, I'm actually expecting you to continue. I'm like, mm, it's okay, it's it. okay. That that was one question. Now, 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 mm-hmm. now I'm coming home. Yeah. Uh, so, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who's your worst guest in the SMS podcast? Worst guest. Yeah, one that you're like, why did you even come? I mean, they were so rigid. They gave you nothing, and you felt like it was so hard to communicate. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like it. <laughs> what on a check? <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Is there something you know that I don't know? <laughs> I, I think the crew already know the answer. And it's I'm just for I'm you even, to voice And I'm it. even you know? thinking if there's someone in particular that I'm just like, I don't get to home. There's one person that comes to mind, but it was only because of, of a time issue. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think we ever had the conversation. So I don't think it would be for the first time I'm going to have to just spin the wheel. Yeah, only because I feel like the SNS that I think people forget, it's, it's really built on... Like its backbone is collaborative spirit. It's mm. such a PR answer. So <laughs> for is. that reason, let me let me just speak. Yay! Me. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Finally. Uh-huh. Six. Oh Jehovah Jireh. Oh, it's the worst one. It's the <gasps> worst one. And it's the one I made. I was just there like mixing, 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 mixing. So thank God we have spit buckets that I don't have to. Voila, this is so nasty. This is like when I made this, I don't think I'm I was actually thinking. worried for you. Oi. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> just, just hold that thought. Is there anybody I can say that would not take this particularly personally? Be like, no, hey, girl, I said, I said it to you. <laughs> I, I think she lost that right once she did the spin, right? Yeah, for you sure. She lost that right. So just do it. Guys. Guys. 
Right. Actually, as if this would make it any better, let me start. Actually, it. Actually, think this makes it worse. Okay, you're saying I actually thought we were going to take a test. <laughs> that is, I'd be so shocked. I'd be like, are you trying to make it worse for yourself? Because no, it's because if nothing has settled. Like I can see the egg white had separated from the mayo, from the hot sauce. This is also just to say that all the guests that come here, I love you. But if I do call you, please, for the love of heaven, keep time. <sighs> Even though nothing's looking like that. Oh God. How nasty. Yeah. I still about to So filthy. Like I can taste the hot yeah. sauce, the egg white. Fast the scale. Meal. That was some nasty stuff. Guys. Yeah. Claudia. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna, you know, keep this, you know, straight. Yeah. Be like a shooter, like an arrow. Um, I think I know what you're going to ask. Well, okay, go. How much are you being paid to be a host on the Wababe XP over on the T47? Just give us one figure and we keep it moving. What the hell? <laughs> I am you not telling tell you guys. Where would I tell you? My my salary. See, so that we just look up on our pay like a lunch after this. Ah, oh, God. I'm you didn't even think about just think about it. I have not thinking about it because think, that's this is probably the first time I've been convincing someone to not spin the wheel. I'm telling you, I'd rather spin. Okay. Mm. Fucking Damn. Damn. It's at a spoon, I promise. Chukina spoon oh, girl. You're starring. Oh she said. <laughs> You think, ah, uh, man, man, can I, can I guess? Like, can I give a range? No, you can't. Even if you give a range, I won't answer. I'm going to my bosses to give me a call. Eh, hey, you say it. <laughs> so, so, so this is the time you can also say, and actually, guys, we need to scale it up, add a zero. Oh, my God. Here's your speech bucket, because I promise you, you will need it. And then when you're speaking, you face the other direction. I give the camera. That's why I went like this because we, we can't see past this table. Hey. Also, it's egg white. So if you take like a big gulp, it's end biote. Just saying. God, girl, bye. Ha! Is it like in the. Have you reached like a, like a three? Like, is it like from five hundred? Girl, I'm not going to answer anything. I am not going to give you. You can just blink eight, twice. Me. Just they blink twice. Ask me this off camera, mm. I'll tell you. On okay. camera? Yeah. Mm. And then we'll just be recording her on the down low. Mm. <laughs> on camera, no. <laughs> we'll put it. Woo! Oh my God. It's so filthy. It's so <laughs> filthy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Guys, mm. um, this episode is probably brought to you by Claudia and I saw but she's sponsoring. <laughs> this is disgusting as well. Mm-mm. He actually took this really well. Mm. I've been this. on this seat maybe like 10 times, I think, at this point. Yeah. Zoe, you're so yeah. Okay, it's your turn to ask me. It's your turn to ask me. Yeah, but let me ask a fair question. Mm. Do you feel like you're being fairly compensated? Yeah. Okay. I'm actually content with the money. Okay. Um, it could be I'm more, Lord, yeah. but I'm happy. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Okay. <clears throat> Who's one blogger uh-huh. you hate uh-huh. or don't want to be on their page? Like you'd rather never yeah. appear on their page. The one oh, that I feel like that's an easy one. Okay, no, is it? And why do you one? hate them? I, hate is a strong one. Mm, hate like, is a strong that, one. That's the question. <laughs> that's the question, sis. Yeah. That is the question. Um, hate. I want to say this thing. Hate is that struggle. <laughs> you can still taste it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, we got you. Um, hate one blogger, one blogger. Do you like, hate? Why do you hate them? Mm. And but hate. Why is a don't you ever word. want to be on their page? Hate is a strong word because I genuinely feel like to each everybody their hustle. Like I, I don't feel like everybody can. The just question do. is hate. Me, the ladies like. The question <laughs> is hate. Please give us the answer we are looking for. I think I would. <laughs> Let me answer then give context. If it's if it's in regards to the person you hate, then fine. If yeah. it's anything Come else, I'm not taking it. Back. Mm. Okay. Uh, BNN. Oh. By okay. Edgar. 
Now, as I said, hate is a strong word. So if you take this, take this with a pinch of salt. I sometimes like I don't know. Because I think I also know that I put myself out there. So mm-hmm. fine. Like in some ways I have opened the door. Actually it's like I just you did, everybody yeah, like, like, come come opened on the in. door. It's like everybody come in. Yeah. But I think it's also like because I feel like here in Kenya we don't have particular or even just anywhere in general when it comes to this like gossip blogs, mm-hmm. there are no like structures or policies in place to like like anything goes exactly like how can we I'll be able to under. to wh- wh- what is the like should i say like a transparency like unit what is the so this is true and this is false so if this is just gossip yeah. so and i think to everybody else nobody really gives a shit do you know what i mean mm. so i'm mm. just like that and that i just be like which and I'll, it would be so ironical if this was put there <laughs> <laughs> the irony of life mm-hmm. but yeah that is just someone i'm just like whoa let me just stay off your radar not that there's anything for me particularly to hide you know if this goes out he will really be on my radar <laughs> you know now he will be on my radar <laughs> he'll be there with like a microscope like ma'am so what are you what is it that you're hiding Steph. yeah mm-hmm. I th- but i think like sometimes i actually think of like as much as on the outside it's like people love udaku and that's just facts Like tea is entertaining. To some extent, yes, yeah. tea is entertaining until it's your tea that's being spread. Mm. And then now whether there's like a, a, a merit of whether it's true or not now that Yeah, like that. anything just goes where, where so, is yeah. the proof is evidence? Yeah. Back so it out. Like, yeah. yeah. And then I think also you know the, those things for so do you hide my identity? I'm not even eh crazy. So yeah, that one is just one of like please just do your thing and me do my we shall be, everybody are kaitu ni yake. Okay. Yeah. So. I'm done. That, that was my question. <laughs> Were you expecting a different answer? Um, I was expecting anything. Yeah. I, think, I think I was ready for anything. But, uh, but this is not even like something for you to take a shot on. But I'm just like, because you, you're very, you're very, I feel like compared to myself, you're very much in the public space. So I'm always wondering how you maneuver. Because do you respond? Do you like, do you go to clarify like, oh, okay, guys, this is false. This no. is not. And if you choose not to, why? Someone told me um, mm-hmm. once you make any statement about it you're giving it validation. Yeah. So I'd say anything that's on the internet about me. Yeah. I have seen. Yeah. I have read all the comments. Actually, I see what every single person says. Yeah. But I also think I'm very strong. Mm emotionally and so they don't get to the you. The first time mm-hmm. they kind of knocked me out of mm-hmm. anything is like mm. But the The, the 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 following um the the, the few times I've also I've, I've been posted and yeah. it won't stop now. Mm. I'm going to be in this industry for a very long time. Very long. You need to just be very strong, very bold. Mm. Find a way to deal with whatever emotion it is you're feeling at that time. Mm. People say, people did, people did. Mm. And then again, I really stopped caring about what people say about me. I yeah. I don't know. Maybe if mm-hmm. if my if my family is okay, mm-hmm. if my uncle can call me and ask me are you fine mm. i saw this about you on the internet are mm. you okay mm. if they don't care what's on the internet mm. then why should i care people yeah. who know me better than anyone else mm. see what's on the internet yeah and my parents don't respond mm. my siblings are like hey but they, they even joke about it yeah you know so for me i, I don't know i just don't you don't engage i don't engage mm-hmm. i don't let it bother me if mm-hmm. anything that check i'll be shocked at first yeah. read the news so you a few minutes it. later yeah i'll laugh about it I'll be yeah. like, eh, guys surely mm. so for me it's just something very light i don't yeah. take it personally i stopped taking things personally mm-hmm. you have just arrived i just got here yeah, yeah. Okay, sawa sawa. That, that, that was a good one. But yeah, please just just stay in your lane. Where's, <laughs> Where's, Where's the question coming in? I'm really, I'm really no, that, that, that was just like in relation to what you've asked me mm-hmm. because I feel like maybe from the outside looking in people think like even when people make these comments and even this hide I think they forget at the at the core of it all you're really just a human. Ma, like the same feelings yeah. that you experience to the same either effect or detriment is the same thing you take mm-hmm. yeah so that's why it was just coming from now let's talk about um the show um that is on Wab- that is on tv47 Wabe xp so you have uh two co-hosts or three correct yeah, me two. if i'm wrong two so you have willis raburu and mc gogo okay gun to your head who would you remove what yeah 
That's unfair. I'm just curious. Like, you're going to die. So you're going to be told you choose between Willis and MC Gogo. Who are we choosing and why? I love you. Just know I love you. So <laughs> You're answering me. I enjoy working with you. You're an amazing person. But yes. I'm so And you're na unakufa. So. Nakufa. If yeah. I don't die, you will die. Mm. You know, I gotta choose myself. I gotta put me first. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So. I would say. Okay. I love. I remember I love you. Mm. I love you. Um, MC Goku. Okay. He's dope as He's, hell. And, like I've seen his sets. Yeah. Even when we go for like Smino Fiesta, shout out to you, Smino. Insane. Yeah. I, I like MC Gogo. He's he's an amazing person. Yeah. Like any, um, I'll, I'll say Willis because mm-hmm. Willis and I go way back. Yeah. Before I got on Nini, before I actually when I when I was when I was um, at SPM bars, mm. one of the people who used to mentor me was mm. Willis Rabul. So yeah. Willis is a mentor and yeah. a friend. Yeah. He's someone that has a special place in my heart. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. so I'd say Willis Travel. Gogo, yeah. I still love you though. Yeah. So the answer is Willis. Yeah, the answer but is we Willis. love Gogo. <laughs> we, are, we absolutely love Gogo. We adore Gogo. Do you know any time I see Gogo, I think of that thing for Gogo. We wanna because that's everything that he says all the time when he's on stage. So every every say, MC says that. I was like, we oh. wanna part, but he's you can hear yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So and it's your just turn. that command he has. Present the audience. Hey. Yeah. And I the energy. It. It's mm. insane. He said, yeah, go go with your boy, catch me then. Yeah, and the, it's the way they play literally anything from um, a piano to gospel. Like, it's, mm. <laughs> the range is insane, yeah. Okay. Uh, which friend don't you mind having a romantic relationship with? Which close friend? That this is so personal. We are, <laughs> we are accepting everything, so. I probably say which Chero, close? but I'm not Lele, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. which, which close, close friend? friend? Which close friend? Which close... <laughs> You sister a bio for Actually, that, that was me. That was me. That was you? That was all me. That I would not mind having a romantic relationship with. Yeah, one you I had like, yeah, you could be a husband potentially. You look good. And give us the reasons why. I mean, oh, we need now to you wanna hear know. my context. Yeah. Initially you're like stuck stories. So you're like to face those stories. And attack could draw what does he have that makes him the perfect man instead of your other friend? I really need to take a shot. <laughs> this is hilarious. A close friend. First of all, let me start by saying I don't have that many um, guy, what are they called? Like guy close guy, friends. Yeah. I, I really don't. I have like a select few. Mm. One, our relationship is, it's, it's like neither here nor there. It's like because we've not spoken in such a long time. Like I can't tell you anything that is happening in his life currently. So that one would be very far-fetched. Mm. Um... <laughs> oh, oh, well, let me see. A, a guy close friend that would be romantically Guys, involved. There's something she's with. hiding. Nothing, 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 nothing they need to know. Hot sauce. I, I think this one I'm easy. And I, I'm just like this one. I'm just like, yeah. yeah see, Maya. The good tricky. And actually made you take, wow. Yeah. Although I'm really Great thinking job. about it. Great job. No, you've it could, lost that yeah. right. You've lost that right. Kitabo, just shut for that shot. Ooh, girl. Woo! Nyo please. Is it again? It's that bad. See, I've already started getting. I can still smell the vinegar in my <sighs> Yeah, and I don't even like hot stuff like that. So I can literally feel it here. I imagine standing in kitchen for you. I'll cry. <sighs> okay. Mind. It's your turn to ask me a question. Mm. How many questions have we asked? Mm, I feel like this is probably my last one. Because I don't even it have that many be left. Good. Yeah. It better be good. Of course, you've interacted with so many media personalities. Okay. Yeah. Within the space, in the in the media space, the creative space, in the entertainment space, the whole scene in mm, general, mm. who do you think is undateable? Oh, undateable. Yeah, like even if they begged you to, you are just like, yeah. That's a no-brainer. 
Who's this? Willy Paul. <laughs> Willy Paul. That's a, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. This comes off as offensive. Yeah. But that's a no-brainer. I Why? Mean, I would never even think about it. It would never cross my mind. Why? Why? Yeah, we need a reason. Okay. Mm. So, shit. I said I'd never talk about this. Okay. He he's. I, I think for me, it's just how the media paints him. You know? And mm-hmm. how he interacts with women. Yeah. And I don't think I ever want to associate with someone who interacts with women in that in light. That way. Mm. You are so controversial. Mm. Like me, because I'm in drama. Opposite. I, I can't, yeah. I genuinely can't stand someone who has too much mm. to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys will say he's a good artist. I mm. don't refuse You're that. You're not taking away from that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not moving away from the fact that he's a great artist. But I just, even, I'm sorry, but even as a friend, mm. he can't be in my space. Yeah. You said, stay! Tunga I sana. Like, I, 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 I have reasons. I'm like, this one? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If I say an answer right now, yeah, it will be probably... Too controversial, and yeah. I, I said I don't want drama. Me and drama, yeah. yeah, yeah. But one thing I just don't like how he carries himself. Mm. For me, his behavior is unknown. Mm. That's it. Okay. From the pen music, yake. Sawa. She said, "Musi, musi ni kujia." Music in there. Yeah. Music. He, he has good music. Yeah. I, I know a couple of his songs that are yeah. really good, mm. and I'd played on my show and mm. danced to it. Yeah. But eh. Uh, so is Easy this things. you separating the art from the artist? Do you actually think that's like a yeah, practical yeah. thing? Yes, this is me. Mm-hmm. Because I have, with, in my line of work, I've interacted with a couple of artists. Yeah. And they are really good at their job. But then you see how they handle me. For me, how mm. you treat other people yeah. matters a lot. Because mm. it tells me a lot about your character. As a person, It tells person, me yeah. a lot about your upbringing. Mm. It just speaks volumes. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not ready to deal with someone who... Because like, if you treat people badly, mm. same what makes me different? Yeah. How is this that mm. at Claudia, this is yeah, where you I'm, draw I'm, the I'm line? I'm a human like them. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm probably a girl like that other girl. Mm. And it's just a no-no. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Come on. It's okay. Yeah. So speaking of music, we were having this conversation earlier. Una so this, this is not the one this for... Is, yeah, this is not a... You've already answered the question. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, Anishuku, every five seconds. They're like, yeah, where were? Where were? So let's talk about music. Mm-hmm. Give us context, give us background. And also, we're just curious, are you dropping for us something soon? Is there like I an am, EP, I an am, album, not a not single? An sure. Not an EP or an album. Mm-hmm. Maybe a single. Okay. I am because... You see how you try to... And this is very sad. Um, yeah. You try to put yourself in a box mm. and you try to be really good at one thing. Yeah. But then you forget these other things and they also contribute to the person that you are. Yeah. Because as much as, yes, I'm very good at my job as a, a TV presenter, mm-hmm. I I love, you know, acting. Yeah. I love acting mm-hmm. to some extent. Yeah. I absolutely love music. If anything, music is my first passion. Mm-hmm. Then hosting... Imagine in that order, then yeah, acting. then acting, yeah. You know, so if I put music on the side, I'll always feel like I haven't satisfied my soul to some extent. Yeah, I'll do people's, mu- I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy people's music mm. on um, social media, I'll mm. create challenges, mm. I'll do all those things. But if I feel like I haven't satisfied something inside me, actually, I, I do have us, I don't say this as much mm-hmm. because. I don't, I don't own the, di- the digital rights, so I don't promote the song as much, yeah, but. I did, a sh- I did a song a while back, mm-hmm. and the main reason why I did that song is not because actually I wanted it to blow up and be big. Mm. It's because I just wanted to satisfy that need that I've always had. Because I've always told myself, eh, you need to release a track. Yeah. You need to release a track. You mm. need to do this. So I released a track just for my own personal satisfaction. Yeah. I think if I am to make music, mm-hmm. it is for me. Yeah. There is peop- yeah, if you guys like it, Sour. Well and good, mm. but if I am extremely in love with it, then that's why. Actually, for me, anything I release, mm-hmm. my music especially, if mm-hmm. I get released music, inshallah, God willing, yeah, I will do it for me, yeah, just to satisfy that need inside me. Mm. But then I grew up, uh, my 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 role model is Tiwa Savage. So when I was yeah. growing up, 
I my god, I used to love that lady. I used to watch all her performances. I'm telling you, I'd sit down and yeah. watch award shows. Mm. I enjoy the presenting part. Yeah. But I used to enjoy the performances. The performances. Yeah. I'm, I'm the kind of person who goes on YouTube and searches um VMA 2016 mm. performance. Mm. Nicki Minaj performance mm. or something. Yeah. Just sit down and watch. Yeah. How they perform. Mm-hmm. That makes me alive. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, if Media didn't catch up. Yeah. And if media amazing. was not making me money, yeah. I'd be a musician. Mm-hmm. And I would die with it until it starts making money. Yeah. So when it comes to like your music, how, when did you fall in love with music growing up? Because I'm assuming it's something that came from like a Peter child. Mo. Yeah. I, I don't know. My, my uncles, um, we share birthday with Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Yep. So my uncle's friends. That's a sign. <laughs> yeah. A Virgo. Yeah. So my uncle's friends used to call me Beyonce. Yeah. Because also they used to play this old school R&B. Mm. And me, my mom used to play bongo and yeah. tarab. Mm. So I got to catch different genres. I got to love music. Maybe ni wala watoto wenye time ya nini? Time ya kuna ma, kuna ma guests kuna family gathering kuna nini? Mm. Eh nesabwa kujo to entertain. Yeah. Niko hapo katikati natumbuiza watu. Yeah. So I think it's always been in me performing even when I'm on stage as an MC if yeah. you pay attention. I'm not just MC. Yeah. I am actually performing and giving guys a show. Yeah. You know like mm. any other artist would do. Yeah. And I think that's what um, makes me really good at my job. Mm. Because you have that innate, it's almost like an innate need that you need That's to satisfy. That's my purpose in life. Yeah. Maybe at time to I believe my purpose in life is to entertain myself yeah. and others. Yeah. And I thank God because people come to discover their purpose in life way later. Way later, yeah. Maybe I knew mm. from when I was a child, I knew what I wanted to do. Mm. I knew I wanted to be in front of the cameras. Yeah. I knew I wanted to be famous. Yeah. You know, people, actually, kids dream of being famous. Yeah. I am... And you were one of those testimony kids. Yeah. of a child who dreamt of being famous and who dreamt of making money at a young age mm. and being really good. You see this Nickelodeon shows you used to watch? The yeah. Lags, for yeah. example. Yeah. You'd watch Kiki Palmer mm. and you'd imagine yourself, oh my God, I'm Kiki. Yeah. I'm, I'm the Kenya, I'm Kiki or something. Yeah. And yeah, that's just been me. And thank God that everything is working out. In your thank favor. Thank God. Yeah. I have struggles, but yeah. there are things that I can't overcome. Yeah. With time, it gets better, it gets easier. Mm. You also get to learn a lot. Mm. Me, Kwanza, I think I'm a student of life. And especially I, at such a young age. I'm a proper age. student of life. Yeah. Because I get to learn so many things. Yeah. I'm studying electronic media right now. I'm mm-hmm. actually finishing. Yeah. Um, I'm almost finishing my degree. Do you remember the first time I met you and I was like, where do you get the time? Sincerely, where do you get the time? <laughs> I couldn't even believe the first time I met her, she was like, Yeah, I'm rushing to class. I said, Sorry, you, you have Imagine. school. Yeah, because one, my mom is she's 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 someone who um, is very big on education for sure in her household. At the oh, Taki Kusoma, oh, so you take a good drop out. You can't, yeah, you can't survive. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, she's she pushes people to study to mm. do the best that they can, like. Yeah. She's an amazing, amazing human being. Shout out to you, mom. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm doing this because I want to have the academic qualifications for my job. Yeah. As much as right now, I actually saw a, um, a statistics the other day mm-hmm. saying that 60% of jobs right now don't yeah. require academic qualifications. Yeah. It just requires experience. Mm. But I'm still doing this because it's a need I want to satisfy. Yeah. You know, for me, I have something on my bucket list. Yeah. I've got to take it off. Mm. I wake up. Here's one funny thing. I, I keep telling my friends, mm-hmm. I'll go to this place, I'll do this, I'll meet this person. Yeah. I don't care how long it takes. It's always, I've always done it. I've always done everything that I've said I would. Mm. And I thank God for that because also it shows a lot about um, my consistency, my discipline, mm. and my goals and my vision. Yeah. So in this time, I, I, I told my friends the other day, this is January 2023. Mm-hmm. I told them, I want to go to South Africa. Yeah. I want to do this, this, this in South Africa. Yeah. I want to meet. I knew what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how I was going to get the money. Yeah. I didn't know where I was going to go and sleep. I had nothing. Yeah. At that time, it was just an idea. Mm. I went to AC. I said, I'm going to. I've said this so many times. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to do this event. Mm. I'm going to meet this person. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I think it's. <laughs> You know, the it's, whatever. It's, it's this shenanigans, yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and every time I do something, I tell, I put my mind to something. I get it. 
I don't want to say something that I've said I'm going to do this year because I might jinx myself because yeah. I usually tell it to myself and my friends. Yeah. But there's something I've said. Mm. And Steph, once I have accomplished that, I'll text you Please. and I'll tell you, sis, yeah. you know what I told you? Yeah. This was it. Today today is the is the 12th of March. Yeah, the 12th of March. Yeah. Let's mark this. Thing. Okay. I will, for sure. All right. Yeah, I think that's just it about me. Yeah. And I'm so excited for you. Thank you. So as, as we wrap, do you have any more questions for me? Uh, as an influencer, yeah. have you ever farted in public? And um, Have I ever? Farted in public uh-huh. and hoped that people <laughs> didn't know it was you. Ah, of course, yes, I have. Because I remember I went for, I think there was a time I went for like a, uh, what was it, like a Nivea event and my stomach. A Nivea event. And my stomach was fighting against me. But Uzuri, it was like, you know, special. So like, oh, my cow, oh, my cow, oh, my cow, oh, So I was just like. Did it smell? No, it didn't. Okay. Mine, are, mine are those silent ones. But it, you those won't. Those silent ones are the dangerous ones. Those silent ones. Bass. No, no, no. That one, I remember. Cause, but I remember I didn't stay at that even too long. Because I was like, hey, apa ningori. Kido go sasa now I start kuta piki ambele ya watu. So yeah. And it was those ones where they tell you, we're going to start on time. No, they don't. Kenyans never start on time. Exactly. But you know what is so funny? Last last week I was going for a screening for a podcast that I was part of. Early January, they said 4.30. Uh, that's when the screening was starting. 4.30 to 5. 5 p.m. nilikuwa home. Because I was like, ah, it's easy. Do you know by the time I go to the event, the screening had ended? Since I didn't have to come there. Hi, 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 hi. Even when I went, I was so embarrassed because they were like, everybody else was part of this project was, was in the screening. And then I came... Later. later. The the one time I thought no event starts on time, that one actually started on time. God. So yeah. And I I'm I'm torn between keeping time and being late. So we're somewhere in between. So where do you think um you spend the most time and you lose track of time when you're for me I'm I'm an actual timekeeper, but it's because I've been to so many events where they say we're going to start at four PM sharp and six thirty PM we're still looking at each other. So the one time Claudia was like, I know for sure this is, event is not starting on time. Oh and it's an event That's for creatives. Uh, crea- oh, okay. You know, uh, what are creatives? Thinking? You know what? Creatives, I, I, I think to some extent we are lazy when it comes to something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I'm here to. It's just how we are. You can imagine my shock. Accept. I entered and they were like, oh, the screening has ended. I said, are you making money from it? No, I was not. Okay, explains also why. Because <laughs> if you're making money from it, you'd be motivated to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So if it's just an appearance and mm. a PR and you're not mm. making... Yeah. But generally, I in my mind, I was sure that this event is not starting on time. And I was even like, I know I know even from the guest list, it's majority of creatives. I just... Ah, tutafika uko sisi watu koma 6.30. I'm afraid. Ulifika 6.30? Ulifika 6. Yeah, your screening will end up at 4.30. Yeah. Like screening Elisha, Elisha, it was like 45 minutes to an hour. People have, uh, 30 minutes have already passed, people are already socializing. Other people are leaving. So I was just like, oh, hi. Um, yeah. Oh, and I even carried a videographer to go and document this whole experience. So yeah, in the video, when, when it comes out, you guys will see me saying, um, so the screening has ended, but we'll just chill here, you know. So yeah, I was you very embarrassed. Zero footage the uh, or zero. I only have the socializing part. What I actually went for, Elisha yeah. Peter. So now I, I'm, I'm just like, when you guys say 4.30, do you mean 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, 4.30, or do you mean like 5.15? So yeah. Me, if I'm getting paid, yeah. I'll get there on time. On if time. I stand a chance to network, I'll mm. get there on time. If it's just a fun social event, my God, I'll Muta be late. Muta ni pata mkini pata. Eh, ni Lewa, but yeah. if, if, it, if, if, if it's a networking opportunity yeah. and I'm making money from it or I'm working, mm. I'll be there on time. Yeah. So I, th- I think that one, I was just like, so either I stick to being on time or now I just hope other events start late. Okay. Yeah. My question, please. All right. Your question. Now, I'm sure even as an, as an, as an MC, as an award-winning host, like you have a lot of titles under your belt. You interact with a lot of celebrities. Okay. I'm curious which one was your most underwhelming or someone you just found you're really just overrated oh my god because i'm sure these things happen like you'd be looking up to to meet someone and then you experience them and you're just like damn that's it because i'm sure you've interacted with a million and one like one in particular that stood out for you and you're just like apa apa ujabamba yeah bambi 
Oh my god, I don't want to call them. It's because they're very big. Uh, let me think. Hey! So we did an interview, mm-hmm. and it was underwhelming. Yeah. I was going to mention one that we didn't get to do the interview. Mm. So, oh, we did an interview underwhelming. No, honestly, actually, we didn't do the interview. I was. It was more of a disappointment. Mm-hmm. I was really looking forward to um, interviewing. Oh, so you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I was really looking forward to interviewing um, Rich Mavoko. Mm-hmm. He's an amazing artist. I've been yeah. listening to him mm. um, all the time. Yeah. So... We called him for an interview mm-hmm. uh, when I was at Straight Up. Yeah. And Ali Chelewa, wakati show in Aisha Ivi Sasaba, no naskia kwa gate. I had prepped the questions. Yeah. So I really felt like I was let down yeah. as a fan. Yeah. And of course, as a host. Mm. And you know, sometimes it's like, okay. What what really what more can, can you do? do? So, you what know? did you do in that situation? Did the interview happen? It didn't happen. The interview didn't happen because Alifika one show is shy. Where are we going to do the interview for? Because it was a live show, mm, a live TV show. Yeah, I, w- I was just so disappointed. I was like, that's okay. So Aliru Diama? Ah, I think Aliru. I didn't even get to see. Oh, you didn't even get to meet him. I didn't even get to I meet him. I didn't even express your disappointment. Yeah, like I was in a just cool sad. I was like, okay. So that's Next insane. time, I know. So now you can see the discrepancy when it comes to people keeping time. Yeah, and, and especially for something live. You'd expect at the very least. Man, time. They're getting like there are only time. so many commercials we can play. Only Even so many. if you are probably at a different station doing mm. an interview, then mm. and, and, and it runs within the same time. Yeah. I mean, what you can do is communicate for sure. and say. So mm. I just got here. Like mm. we communicate to Nangoja Mbaka Sasaba. And sometimes that actually does seem msani. Because we're talking about because we you, you, you are talking about. The interaction with the artist, yeah, but it's not the artist; mm. it's the team yeah. that's around him. Mm. So sometimes you, you just have got to you know, that ah, sour. Yeah, at the time. team could have com- communicated. communicated the, the yeah. person who's head of the one, the one who's dealing with the talent, mm. or because of course you have a PR person. Yeah, mm. for PR and you come from here. So you get disappointed so many times. I think I've had so many instances where I get disappointed. So not. what happens in such an instance if the show was around this person? You as the host, is it your responsibility to now figure a workaround? Or is it First the producer? All, the good thing is you always have segments prepared. Just in case. It's not at a, mm. an artist showed up and then now we can't do anything. Mm. We are on standstill and waiting for the artist to get here. Yeah. You know, uh, the show must always go on. Whether or not. Whether or not he's there or not. Mm. And sometimes a show can go on without an artist and yeah. it'll be one hell of a fun show. Yeah. I mean, it's good to have artists because they speak to their audiences, mm. they bring um, viewers. Yeah. But then again, the show must go on. And that's why you're a host. Yeah. I remember I've ever had an instance where um, there was an issue with uh, with the music mm-hmm. and the DJ had an issue with the set. So there's no music. I remember for one full link and probably a link would run for like, what, 24 to 26 minutes. We had to talk. Thanks. Damn. This is an entertainment show. Talking. But you had to talk now, some and not really talk in psych. milk things. <laughs> yeah. You know, we yeah. really talked. And then after that, my, my director told me, mm. this is why you are hired. Yeah. This is why you are hired. Not to just run the show, mm. but in case of emergencies, yeah. you can come through and give, and still give us a good show. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. That's it. Okay. Are, you, are you still looking forward to meeting him? Or did you have you met him since? I haven't. I really look forward to meeting the artist. And, and hopefully they keep time this oh, time. Oh, my God. I don't know if it's on a live show, mm. but right now, as much as, yes, I'm still pushing for um, interviews with um, the artist mm. on the live show. Mm. But I'm also pushing my YouTube. Yeah. By the guys, if you do not know, yeah, shameless, channel. plug it shamelessly. Yes, yeah. mm. I have a YouTube channel mm-hmm. and I usually do this segment called Claudia Speaks mm. where I just got to interact with the artists in their spaces. Yeah. And now that I'm plugging myself, yeah. I also have Claudia Naisabwa Initiative mm-hmm. that supports young girls in Samburu County. Mm-hmm. We have done a couple of outreaches, supports young mothers, so our focus is mostly on young moms mm. and young girls. Yeah. If I get to what we have done right now, mom mm-hmm. would need yeah if i talk about what we are going to do there's still a lot to talk about yeah so if people want to reach us they can find us on the yeah. page there is i've, I've tagged the initiative mm-hmm. they also have their own independent page yeah 
Okay. All right, Claudia, thank you so much for coming. Now you've talked, you've touched briefly on um, the uh, Claudia Naisabo initiative, but I'm curious, what other projects could we see coming up for you this 2024? Oh, wow. Can we get like an exclusive something? Give, a, give the girlies and the brothers something. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll say this. Mm -hmm. Last year, I did a lot of um, international trips mm -hmm. and things are looking up. Yeah? Absolutely. Talk to us about Ray Vani in UK. How was that? Oh, it was actually really fun. Let yeah. me tell you, yeah. I actually had so I'm curious. much fun. I'm curious. Oh, you read Let me tell you, I went there, actually picked up an accent. Yeah. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's easy to assimilate me into <laughs> different cultures. Cultures, yeah. But even when I was speaking to, Re to Revani, yeah. the Kiswahili is not the same. It's not the same. Kama yangu na yako, kama wa Kenya. Mm. Oh, damn. I'd find myself, <laughs> yeah. I'd find myself, mm. um, Leaning more on the Swahili from Tanzania. Mm, Tanya mm. Kuchani Mesema. Yamani, the things I say. Yeah. And I, I am like, why do I sound like this? Even yeah. when I went to Tanzania to shoot down and I mm, came back, mm. my friends were like, your accent. There's something. There's something. Why do you sound like. Because mm. I, you know, I tend to just blend in Seamlessly. With cultures yeah. And, I don't even try. But can I do this? I'm going to sound even like mm. him. You could just imagine, you know what I mean? She reckon, babe. <laughs> I would not say I, I, I actually do not I don't have the English accent. Yeah. The British um English accent. Yeah. But the this this I don't know. Um black Americans or black British people have this accent. Yeah. And I, I just tend to I, I love because also I watch a lot of UK content. Yes. My God. Yeah. Mimi Nasidman Twins. Beta squad. <laughs> yeah. What I even say. I think they are my number one. Yeah. Twins. Like this, yeah. So I'm always watching their things. Monday, I even have a date. I know when they upload. Every Saturday is Beta Squad. Mm. Sunday is Excitement Sunday. Yeah. And I watch their shows religiously. religiously. Yeah. You know. So this is not something that at you just so picked at, up. I, I yeah. go there. I feel like I'm at home. You're like this. These are my people. Yeah, I think. She's like wag one, bro. Somewhere. <laughs> it's there. I'll move to the UK. I, yeah. I do. So when I went there, I did a couple. I did Northampton, Birmingham, mm -hmm. and mm. London. Yeah. For the tour stops mm -hmm. and we also did a couple of media tours mm. i'm telling you i loved the energy mm -hmm. so much yeah that days i was just like oh my god sometimes it was a pinch me moment yeah like, Hold this up. is real i come yeah, here i did this yeah i moved the diaspora yeah the diaspora audience mm. i entertained the hell out of them yeah and i honestly just think from here the only way is up yeah well, we're so happy to see you win and thrive now i'm curious about um the wabebe xp oh um, my god like yeah. what what well, plans do you guys existed. have over there well i can't really say much because mm -hmm. but eh, we the brainstorming meetings are a lot yeah the concepts are insane yeah so Every time we will have something for you. Mm. Mm. Okay, so so. Mm. So lastly, I just want you to plug us where we can find you on your socials, what we can support, and then yeah, we'll just link them on the screen. Oh, yeah. Cloud and I support on TikTok, mm -hmm. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm actually on Facebook. Come on, you know, <laughs> I had to. But yeah, I, my, my guys told me you have to have a Facebook account. Account, Do you yeah. You know, Facebook. The Facebook audience is very organic and yeah. they support you all through. Yeah. So I'm on Facebook. I'm yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. Um, my um, initiative, mm -hmm. Cloudy and Isawa initiative. Mm -hmm. If you want to um sponsor a child in school, mm -hmm. if you want to offer grants for businesses for young mothers who dropped out of school yeah. or young mothers who didn't pursue further education from um after the secondary school education yeah you can um find us at cn initiative on instagram yeah. or send us an email at cn initiative 2022 at gmail.com wow very thorough thank you so much for watching this thank episode you. of the hot seat and thank you so much claudia for gracing the hot seat you are such an energy and an aura and i truly cannot wait to see what 2024 yes. has in store for you and in case you did enjoy this video which we hope you did make sure you like this video leave a comment down below let us know what more you'd like to see from claudia or who you'd like to see else on the hot seat that's it from us and we'll see you in the next one Bye. bye, -bye.